Hello everyone! This video would focus on the quadratrix of HPS. Before we go over the equation and the graph of the quadratrix of HPS, let's have the history of the quadratrix of HPS. The quadratrix is mentioned in the works of Proclus, Papus of Alexandria, and Iamblichus. However, of all these mathematicians, Proclus named Hippias as the inventor of the curve called quadratrix and described somewhere else how Hippias has applied the curve on trisection problem. Most historians of mathematics then assume that Hippias invented the curve but used it only for the trisection of angle. Its use for squaring the circle occurred decades later. Now let's go over the equation and the shape of the graph of the quadratrix of Hippias both in the Cartesian coordinate plane and in the polar coordinate plane. We remember that the Cartesian equation for the quadratrix of Hippias is given in an equation x equals y cotangent that's gonna be pi y over 2a. So if we add the slider a, this is how the graph of quadratrix of HPS look like. Please notice this very carefully. If the value of a is positive, then this part of the graph opens to the left. So the farther we go from 0 to the right, so if we increase the value, then the graph is stretched vertically meaning you see the uh, you see the lines here the lines gets farther and farther away from each other the farther we go from zero and the closer we go to zero then it becomes vertically compressed so meaning you see the lines they are really closer to each other so it's vertically compressed it's going to be the same thing for the other side if the value of a is negative then this side of the graph is going to open to the right now if we decrease the value we go farther away from zero then this uh lines that we have here would be farther from each other so the farther we go from zero the more it's vertically stretched well the closer it gets to the zero then the more that it is vertically compressed so this is the graph of the quadratrix of HPS in the Cartesian coordinate system now let's look at the graph of quadratrix of HPS in the polar coordinate system we remember that the quadratrix of HPS in the polar coordinate system can be represented in an equation r equals 2a theta over pi sine theta. So if we add the slider, we are able to get the graph of the quadratrix of HPS. It's the same property. If the value of A is positive, then this side of the graph is going to open to the left side. And if we increase the value of A, um, away from or meaning we go away from zero then the more that it is vertically stretched while we go towards the zero then it's gonna be uh, vertically compressed it's gonna be the same thing for the other side so if a is negative then this side of the graph is gonna open to the right and the more we go away from the zero then the more vertically stretched the graph becomes so this is the graph of the quadratrix of HPS in the polar coordinate system. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!